if we hold a greater truth as life with integrity, what happens is that that's contagious. So that we wake up in the morning and we live a little differently because we expect these guiding intuitions to show up. And when we follow them, you know, the synchronicity will occur to, to broaden our lives and you know, bring information just at the right time. So what I believe we're doing is that we're making one key step to bring our spirituality down to earth, and that is we're returning to authenticity in that centered place that all the spiritual mystics talk about, where we're sort of radically honest about who we are, what our soul's dream is, where we are now, what's working, what's not, and we're centering into a very conscious communication with other people, so that we're sharing dreams, and it's making all this more real and establishing a kind of cultural norm around a more lived spirituality. The more unified consciousness and holding spiritual integrity I think that, that what we're learning to do is, is gain more clarity about how to live a more effective spiritual life, where it feels as though we're becoming the star of our own mood. It feels like our lives have a certain destiny. It's always felt that way, but now we're learning to sustain this flow of synchronicity so that our, our soul's dream can come true. If you're honorable over little, you're given more. I think everyone feels a, a quickening, something is shifting, and suddenly people who are living a spiritual life across all religious traditions feel more effective, feel more centered, uh, and they feel more able to actualize their dream to make things better. But it is the hour of decision. This is the time to do it. What goes around comes around. Truth is everything. If you speak from truth, knowing you don't have all the truth, but you're learning more and more about the truth, then your influence gets greater. When you speak truth, it's not truth to one-up somebody. It's not truth to put somebody down so you can control them. It's not truth to make yourself look better. But truth, pure truth, in service to another person. What can I do to help that person? When you do that, truth in service, karmic response to that kind of life, is that you draw into your life people that are acting just like that toward you, people that can help you maneuver through life in a more effective way. But if you further a hidden agenda of any kind, whether you think it's a good one or not, it doesn't matter. If it's a hidden agenda, it's untruthful. What happens then is you draw in, into your life people that have hidden agendas with you and who steer you wrong, and suddenly your life is going around in circles because of that. We're all connected. When we're centering in truth, we grow in empowerment.